Beyond Baby Talk, Linguistic Acquisition. In the new millennium, brain research is moving beyond baby talk. We want to understand how babies learn language so we can gain clarity about the fundamentals of linguistics. Awareness of problems presented in language acquisition allows us to pinpoint strategic solutions. Experts Patricia Cole, Steven Pinker, and Daniel Pink help give us some insights. Age is clearly the primary factor when determining language acquisition. Researcher Cole cannot emphasize this point enough. The ability to acquire a second language lowers as age increases. Children under 7 have the highest aptitude, while adults, like myself, are not very good. This means that for students beginning to study a foreign language in high school, it may already be too late. Pinker attests to another challenge in acquiring a second language. Meaning plays a pivotal role in comprehension. This is where verb formations and grammar can become problematic. For example, the Italian verb chiamare means to call. When I ask someone what his name is in Italian, como ti chiami, I am literally saying, how do you call yourself? There are different constructions for which we need to learn the literal and figurative meanings to make sense of words. Learning deficits resulting from brain damage present a whole new set of issues for which we are still seeking answers. The obvious solution is to begin language acquisition as early as possible. My two-year-old niece has been learning Italian since she began speaking. My brother speaks to her in Italian. She comprehends all and speaks a little. She loves to read books in Italian, especially her Berlitz Italian Vocabulary Builder, watch Italian cartoons on YouTube, and view Disney's bests in Italian. In Japan, Korea, and many other countries, students study English from their first year of schooling. As a result, they are more likely to master English through continued practice over a long duration, like my niece with Italian. Cole introduces the concept of mothery speak. When an adult speaks to a child, she alters her voice with drawn-out sounds and over-articulation for clear communication. With my Spanish 1 students, I don't speak at rapid fire like I would with a native speaker. I use that same motherese speak. Dragon Naturally Speaking is a computer program that turns speech into text, and it could help kids develop a natural way of speaking another language, because you must talk clearly and enunciate intentionally for correct translation. Social interaction is integral to language. Psychologist Paul Ekman traveled the world to prove everyone interprets facial expressions the same way. To comprehend language, we use our faces and body language to help associate meaning with words. Face-to-face -face social interaction reframes learning through interpretation of nonverbal cues. The cognate approach to language learning makes one aware of similarities in languages. Ruben Morin defines cognates as words descended from the same linguistic family. This occurs with commonly used words in related languages, not just Latin and Greek. The application is immediate and permanent. The new dictionary of cognate features 20,000 English-Spanish cognates. What a valuable tool! I say educación, and the kids infer it to mean education. Kids already can identify words in a new language through native language application. Technology will provide advancements. Neuroscience tools like MEG will affect future research as we understand more about how the brain works. There are many types of language builders from interactive games to children's books. A 2010 review compared language learning software. Rosetta Stone, 101 Languages of the World, and Berlitz Language Center are some of the highest ranking available in many languages. These are easy to use and involve various teaching methods. In my bilingual church, most members are learning English through Rosetta Stone because of the personalized learning paths. As Cole asserts, if you put an image on a magazine cover of a baby's brain, it's going to sell out. Babies show us the foundation for our linguistic abilities. They learn the same way we learn, by watching and listening. The best way to ensure success in language learning is to begin as early as possible. But if we have some more tools in the box, we can overcome some of the barriers that occur when deciphering language.